What's up guys? So, uh, I tried to do this video, um, uh, a little while back, but I recorded it with my HD camera, and the video cut off at the end, so I didn't get to show all three shoes, so I'm gonna retry it again. So, um, basically, I'm going to be showing you the last three Jordans that came out, the 27, 28, and 29, and just show you a comparison of, um, the shoes. I'm going to go a little bit more into detail about this uh, Jordan 27 because uh, it was an interesting pack. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers it or not because it wasn't real a spectacular like uh, design. But the, the, the way that the shoes have advanced since then have been pretty, pretty good for Jordan brand as far as uh, technology and um, comfort. Uh, as well as material. So, um, if you see this box, I got this at a Nike outlet. Um, I only bought the shoes for a pair of 50, like, it was like $50. So, um, you can see it originally retailed at, uh, 223 <coughs> $223. And those are the shoes right there. I don't particularly like this colorway too much, this wolf gray. I don't really like the design too much of it because uh, I don't like this wingtip design. But um, I'm going to show you what all came with it and I'm going to talk about the uh, shoes in general. So let's get into it. Um, the first one, of course, you pull it out and it holds the actual shoe. It says Air Jordan 20, Air Jordan 2012. Inside this one, Inside this one held the shoes, so you can see it comes with another pair of laces. Right here. Okay. So if you wanted to, instead of the uh, yellow laces, you could change it out to green laces. All right. And then in the next section of it, it comes with the uh, the different um, lunar lawn. Uh, inserts you could use for it. So of course if you can see it, it says fly around, fly over, and fly through. Uh, quick responses to every step, high elevations to, for your jump, and strong explosive drives. So um, let's see here. Of course the fly through unit has um, a whole air unit, if you can see it, it has a whole uh, zoom, uh, not zoom, 180, uh, not 180, it's just an air unit in the bottom of the lunar lawn padding. So, and then the fly around just has a zoom unit in the back heel, okay, and then the, uh, let's see, I believe the fly over. Get the uh, unit out. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to do this one handed. So, So the fly, uh, fly over that is an air unit in the back, and then uh, articulated zoom units in the front. So with this design, this was a really cool design, I thought, um, of their way of thinking uh, to design the shoe because basically it's to allow you to adjust your shoe to. Um, your comfort standings and how you wish to play. So of course you see the it has different um, like a sock that you can put into the shoe and then you would just put whatever uh, whatever insert you want into it and then slide it into the shoe. Now this is the low top version 
Okay, and here's the uh, high top version of the shoe. Okay, so this is basically a sock right here. This provides no like high top ankle support really. Um, this is just to give you that feel that it might be a high top, but really doesn't provide any ankle support at all right here. So, um, what you would do is you would basically slide the air unit into the shoe and then slide the, sh the sock into the shoe itself. So like I said, I really don't prefer this design shoe, um, but it does have a carbon fiber plate. It's not a flight. It's not a, it's not a flight plate, it's just carbon fiber. But um, I haven't even worn these shoes. Uh, I just bought it just because it was such a cheap shoe. Uh, for $55 at the outlet, that was like, well, you know, I might as well just get it. So, um, like I said, you can see the fly wire integrated into the sides uh, of the shoe. Okay. Now, that's just something I wanted to talk about design-wise. So, of course, you can see the sock. And you can see it has, like, a traction pattern on the bottom, so that way it grips the, uh, the inside boot of the shoe. And I've worn this around, there's not really much slippage um, through it when I tried it on. But I just, like I said, this was just a quick video to try and show you like the, the technology and how far it's advanced so far. So um, the next shoe up is of course the uh, 28. It comes with the high shroud, everybody knows the 28, I'm sure. Um, this is one of my favorite shoes it was really comfortable i like the unlocked uh, flight plate um with the carbon fiber you can see i've worn these as the uh, zoom units in the front um what i don't like is uh if you look at that right there the clear sole it looks like darkened because of the uh the black tongue i mean the black toe tip of it so that really that really irks me that it did that but um, this was one of my like really anticipated shoes that came out, and uh, when they released it, I really like this colorway a lot. This black and green because it just the uh, the contrast of it is just really great. All the other colorways, except for maybe the all the white one, really didn't stand out to me too much. This one it really did because the green just pops with the black. So this is one of my favorite shoes. Uh, that I like to wear. I haven't even worn it that often because I just didn't want to mess it up too much. But um, <clears throat> it was really comfortable. Uh, I felt like I had a lot of range of motion when I walked and stepped. Uh, this was probably would have been one of the better shoes to play in. A lot of people played in this, I think in the NBA. Like Russell Westbrook, he played in it a lot. The heel counter, um, the carbon fiber heel counters uh, really locked down uh, your ankle and provide you pretty good ankle support whereas it gave you like it didn't really feel like it restricted you too much because the, uh, the material it was used to make, make it and then so I recently just got the 29's of course this came in the Pantone pack um, I just finally got a chance to recently wear these and this was a very comfortable shoe it stood out a lot uh, when I was at work a lot of people were asking me about it. They thought this uh, side print was like a zebra looking print. But I was kind of like, well, it's, uh, I think I just, I was like, well, I think it's elephant print. But it really did stand out a lot because everybody was like, oh, you know, this is a new Jordan model. Um, they were like, oh, yeah, it's the, uh, you know, the college UNC Tar Heels colorway kind of. Um, the other Legend Blue. If you notice, the other Legend Blue dropped, it was all blue and then white like here. So this is the Legend Blue that comes with the, uh, with the Pantone pack. So if you notice, you can still see the carbon fiber uh, flight plate down here. But what they did was they put this tendril unit right here to uh, provide more stability and support. It has a huge zoom unit in the front, so you can really uh, feel it when you walk. Although in the back, it has like this uh, concaved um, right here in the back heel. 
which I thought would have been better if they put a zoom unit in the back just for that uh, for the extra comfort um, the sides of course are real stiff now with this woven material I was real skeptical at first about how um, support this material would provide but you can feel there's um, like a heel cup in the back right here and it provides this extra padding on the inside if you see it right here so this shoe is very comfortable now I probably wouldn't have bought this shoe separately uh, by itself just because I don't like the design of the shoe um, because I think it's too expensive for just this design but since material and technology wise this is a really great shoe. I can see why uh, a lot of people are praising it. Why like Kick, Saw, Kick Geniuses uh, really like this shoe a lot um, as one of the better performance shoes because it just felt really comfortable. Um, I can tell like uh, when I was just walking around it had like, tons of grip. The traction pattern on the bottom is just really good. So I'm sure this would be a really good uh, shoe built, you know, to shoe to play on court. Um, like I said, uh, if you were to land on your toe, on your toes, the zoom unit does its job. I wish they would have put one in the back because if you landed on your heels, um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of bounce back. But um, this turned out to be a really good shoe. I liked it a lot. Uh, I wouldn't say I would rock it daily as a daily wear shoe. This would be more of a gym if you're a serious baller shoe. But um, the design of it, it just doesn't appeal to me that much. I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, well, you know, I like the shoe, but um, I really don't care too much about it. Like, uh, I just wore it just for the heck of it because I got the Pantones. Um, so I wanted to wear it just to feel and see what it was like. Um, but, you know, if you are a, a serious baller, this would probably want to be one of the top shoes to wear, probably, um, to play in. Uh, if you want to spend the money <clears throat> to get it, of course, it's 220 something uh, retail, I would like I said I, I'm not a serious baller, so I wouldn't probably use these shoes. I wouldn't use it. I would definitely not use these Pantone ones to uh, the Legend Blue Pantone colorway to play in because this would get dirty really fast. But um, I just wanted to show you the technology advances of it. Like I said, there's just this woven material is uh, pretty awesome. It's really cool how they made it. And like I said, I was real skeptical at first of how durable it would be. But it really hugs your foot and it doesn't give you, it doesn't feel like you uh, would break your ankles if you tried to make any sharp movements or cuts. Um, so I like this a lot. Um, my favorite shoe, of course, is the 28 right now. Well, not right now, but the 28 because uh, I just like the, the style of it. I like the shroud um, and that you can zip it up. When you zip it up, it looks all black and it's all sleek looking. This one is just kind of like a regular shoe to me, so it's not really uh, something that I would rock all the time. So I'm gonna, you know, of course I'm gonna wear this, of course. I'm not gonna play basketball on it, I'm just gonna wear it casually. A lot of people were asking me about questions about it because, you know, they've never seen the new 29 model before. Everybody knows the retros. So, um, Everybody was asking me questions about it, but it is comfortable. It is a very comfortable shoe. I didn't feel tired. I could feel the padding on the inside. I could walk around it all day long. Um, this soft padding on the inside right here uh, provided a lot of comfort. Um, and it was soft to walk around in. It wasn't creasing like crazy right here because there's, there's no leather. It's a woven material. So it was really nice. But like I said, I wanted to show kind of like the evolution of um, the designs because, you know, going from this, um, playing basketball wise, uh, then to this. Now I know uh, running around in this shoe, this is just a great shoe all around. And then they use the 29 to improve on that to uh, not aesthetically um, play in. But to be, to make a shoe that was a great shoe to play in to increase your basketball performance. That's why they designed this shoe. Now, like I said, this is not something I'd rock just with regular all the time. You guys have seen my Instagram probably. I took a picture of this when I wore it the other day. 
Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a great performance shoe, I'm sure, because, uh, like I said, I've seen videos of people playing in it, like Kicks, on, like Kicks of Genius and all of them. And uh, I believe what they say when, you know, that this is one of, their, one of the best shoes out there to date. So, like I said, I just wanted to show all three shoes. Um, I'm not going to do an on feet of these because everybody should really know what they look like on feet. Uh, but I haven't thrown a video out there in a while, so I wanted to put something out there because I haven't picked up anything new. I missed out on the uh, chrome foam posits, which I really wanted. I should have probably paid uh, one of those bots to get that for me, but uh, I missed out on it. And then uh, I could have bought the florals, the KD7 florals if I wanted to, but uh, I went and passed on that. So I'm going to have to really pick and choose what I want this year because... Uh, I just have so many shoes, I'm going to have to uh, wait and see what comes out that I really want. I definitely want the uh, the Jordan 10 uh, Nickel, uh, the uh, Jordan 10 4.5s, and then the uh, probably the Laser 4s, um, definitely Hair 7s. So we'll see what I get, but uh, I'll try and post some more videos as I get them. Uh, of course, the uh, KD7 Amp Pearls are coming out, so I may consider that, but we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to throw a video out there and uh, put something out there so you guys can watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching, and hit that thumbs, up, that thumbs up button. Peace.